Once the first two columns are installed in the first bay, the eave purlin and girts need to be installed. In this video, a scissor lift is used to install all components that cannot be reached from ground level. This type of lift is recommended as it aids in job site safety as well as speed of installation. It will help to make center marks on your eave purlin brackets in order to make any adjustments necessary to ensure that both columns remain parallel and plumb. In this bay, the columns were placed exactly as called for on the engineering plans, so the edges of the E purlin will line up with the center marks made on the E purlin brackets, ensuring that both columns will be parallel. To install the E purlin, clamp the E purlin to the bracket and using your free hands, attach using self-drilling framing screws as instructed by the engineering plans and instruction manual. Whenever installing self-drilling screws, make sure to use the proper safety equipment, including safety glasses. After making sure that the columns remain plumb, install all girts to the columns at each mark previously made. Notice that the two flanges of the girt are of unequal length, so be sure to install the larger of the two to the column. Thus, in adjacent bays, the girts should be attached using the small flange, which will allow them to nest perfectly in the previously installed girts. When installing screws, install initial screws as close to the inside edge of the column as possible so that you will not have to remove these screws when installing later girths. However, you must remember to install all screws as required by engineering drawings after installing later girths.